uh, you know, things that people struggle about but don't really want to talk about they struggling about, but I'm gonna talk about that I'm struggling about. B, your full self, even if it's blemished. We all self-conscious, I'm just the first to admit. This is Brit Uncut, or it might be Brit Unmasked, or it might be Catfish Chronicles. You get to vote on what we call this series in the description box or in the comment section. You vote. I don't know what to call it, but let me tell you why I'm here and how I got here. So I'm here because I am on a search for authenticity in media. Authenticity, transparency, you know, not perfectionist type things in media. You know why? Because life isn't perfect. You can't curate everything and authenticity should win. You know, we should be celebrated for showing up as ourselves, by ourselves, as we are. Um, and I'm also here because that's hard for me. That's not how I operate. You know, I might be a mild little teeny bit of a perfectionist a little bit, you know, but I do have faith and you know, I know God is the only perfect thing and we weren't created to be perfect, but I do struggle. So that's it, you know, I'm being authentic. So what you're going to be giving here is uncut, unedited video of me just speaking my truth, um, speaking to authenticity and transparency and speaking through some things that are difficult for me and being transparent about it because I feel like we should be someone should be and I feel like there's somebody out there who can also benefit from this and also you know selfishly selfish selfishly this is a free session for me to vent so that's what we're doing here that's what it is Brit uncut Brit unmasked catfish chronicles whatever you want to call it let me know okay so this is the thing we live right now in a world that is potentially very toxic, is very harming. We are in the midst of the social media age. And with that, there is a lot of comparison. There is a lot of criticality towards self. Um, there is a lot of disguising imperfections or what can be perceived as imperfections disguising how you know things that aren't normative to a certain degree and not everybody does this but it is a thing that you see especially on social media if you look at instagram you look at people's instagram profiles you look at what you see that is the best version of themselves and then while you're looking at it you're getting tricked because you're like wow this life is so great and it might not be and i can speak for myself my instagram feed is popping if you don't follow me on the gram you should but you know i don't look like this on my instagram I mean, I look like this because this is what I look like. But, you know, just as far as, you know, I am struggling with acne. I'm struggling with it. And um, it's new. I have adult onset acne. And it hurts my ego. And I cover it up. And I use makeup. And I'm good at it. But I shouldn't have to do it to feel okay. And sometimes... That's what happens. Um, and I know that I'm not alone. But I also know how unhealthy it is to mask yourself at all times and not feel comfortable showing up as yourself. So I'm here to talk about it. Um, so before we get, like, you know, super deep and we go, like, you know, I was journaling. That's what I was doing right before this. But before we get really deep, um, I do just want to say that I am beautiful. I know I'm beautiful inside and out. And so are you. You are beautiful too. So before we go down this rant, or before, and it's not even going to be a rant, but before we talk about what it is and what some of the problems in the world right now, just repeat after me. I am beautiful. Your turn. i wait. Did you say it out loud? Yes, I'm being extra, but so what? Um, I am beautiful. I am resilient. I am strong. That was me giving you space to say it because I didn't. So I'm beautiful. I'm strong. I'm resilient. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Say that one again. You know, um, 
But I also want to say I'm not going to be toxically positive either because that happens too. So I'm not saying here, I'm not going to sit here and say that, okay, just because all those things are true doesn't also mean that you can't be insecure. It doesn't also mean that you aren't hurting about something that might not be a big deal to somebody else, but it's a struggle for you that might be new. So for me today, that's my face. Acne all over. And if you've been a subscriber for a long time or if you've been a part of my journey for a while, this is not my norm. It's new for me and I have never shown up on camera like this. But this is what it is. So I'm going to come closer. I also didn't do my hair today. <laughs> okay. That's what my face looks like. And you know, that was kind of hard to do. That was. But I'm working on it. Um, I see a dermatologist. I Before I saw a dermatologist, I tried different face washes, benzoyl peroxide, different oils, astrogens, a lot of different things that didn't work. I went to a dermatologist. Um, they gave me a pill that I need to take once a day as well as clindamycin, so those are things that I'm using on my face. I don't know if I'm purging right now, but low-key feels like it's getting worse. Um, I started washing my hair more often to try to get rid of like some of the oils and things like that. And, yeah. So the reason why I'm at this extreme point of, you know, wanting to be on medicine and like doing all these things for the acne is that I'm scarring and I'm older and my skin doesn't bounce back the way that it used to. Um, also, some of my acne scarring has become keloids, which are permanent raised scars. Um, and I have dark marks and hyperpigmentation that is, you know, just there. And I figured that going to a doctor and like working through it will be helpful. So that's what I'm doing. And so I'm just here to say that if you're scrolling through YouTube right now, because I'm probably going to put in the little comment box, it's probably going to be a catfish video. I'm probably going to have, like, you know, a nice little picture of me with my makeup, and I'm probably going to put, um, how to get rid of dark marks, because that's really popping on YouTube. How to get rid of dark marks. And there are thousands of YouTube videos with millions of views of people saying things like, use this cream, or I put lemon on my face, or I da da da, like all these quick hacks to get rid of dark marks. You know, the only thing that's going to get rid of your hyperpigmentation, even if you use all those things, is time. Let me say that again. The only thing that is going to cure your dark marks after you struggle with acne or da da, -da is time. So don't get tricked. And it's easy to get tricked, especially when you feel insecure. Because, you know, I watch the videos. I know they're there because I look them up. Um, and it's going to take time. So use the topical ointments. And I will have a video that sh shares some of the ones that are that I think have been useful for me. Some of the products that I use. You know, I can go more in depth on what my doctor or my dermatologist recommended. But at the same time, I feel like I just need to say this again. You as you are is okay. And maybe I'm saying that for me and not for you. So I recorded this video today and it's really, really just a rant. Like there's no, if you're watching this right now, kudos to you. Drop a heart in the comment. Let me know you're watching this. But it, it is just a rant. There's no, I'm not going to give you a magic secret at the end. There's no, let's figure it out. There's no nothing. This is it. This is the, this is the gag is, this is it. I'm just here uncut just being real being mean being authentic and that's what it is um so you know what's so funny i just pause i look down i'm playing with my pen and i can't cut it out because i said it's uncut unless you guys want to call this catfish chronicles in which i can cut it out because it's not uncut but this one will be uncut um thank you oh how i i was okay so I'm vlogging right now, the week, a week, a productive week in the life, um, and I didn't feel like vlogging today. That's why I'm here, because I didn't feel like vlogging. How did I not feel like vlogging today and got to this point where I'm on camera in all my glory, my beautiful glory, black beautiful queen, but struggling. Um, 
is because I realized that toxic positivity is real too. And even though I am an optimistic person and pretty positive and the people around me can vouch for that, I'm not always that way. And ain't nobody always that way. So stop pretending. Stop catfishing. You know, I titled this video Catfish Chronicles, maybe, I don't know, or Brit Uncut or Brit Unbothered. You vote on it. But I'm not the catfish here. Especially not today. Because this is who I am. This is who I am. This is me. It's the world. The world is catfishing us. That's what's happening. Okay, that's it. I'm going to stop now because I don't want this to be too long. But just know, we're about to get some fire content. I'm about to make this a series. Maybe I, I can't commit to every week because I'm a master's student and I have a full-time job and I run a business. And I'm, I have a lot of things to do. But I can try to do it every week, especially since I won't have to like edit it or anything. So maybe I will. Or every other week. But literally it's just going to be... This is what it is. This is what I'm noticing in the world. This is my unfiltered, un... This is just me showing up. This is it. This one is just a rant, but the rest of them will be not curated, but I have topics. Like, for example, maybe acne, hair, beauty. What is that even? Um, uh, other stuff, too. Uh, you know, things that people struggle about, but don't really want to talk about they struggling about, but I'm gonna talk about that I'm struggling about it with because I'm in the comfort of my garden, I'm in my room, I'm in my house, and even if you watch this, I don't really have to meet you. <laughs> Say nah, but... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna stop now, but thanks for listening, thanks for coming to my TED Talk, thanks for coming to Brit Uncut, Brit Uncensored, Catfish Chronicles, or Catfish Chronicles, Cap, Catfish Chronicles, Brit Uncut, Brit Uncensored. I don't know. Like I said, you told me what to call it. But the takeaway from today is be your full self. Even if it's blemished. <laughs> so if you do watch my Week in the Life video, there are a lot of moments where, like, you know, my acne is there. It's present. And I'm probably going to freak out editing it. But... That is what I'm dealing with right now. And I don't think it will be forever. I know it's not going to be forever because I can't live like this. I can't just keep running like this. But that is my reality. And I'm not going to hide it. Even though I am going to wear makeup. Because, period. But I'm not going to wear it every day. Anyway, love yourself. And in the words of Kanye. We all self-conscious, I'm just the first to admit.